we got to get right into it on that front, on the crypto front. I mean, what an amazing thing to have Jim Chanos walk in. I think you said you have like 60 students. Uh, you, you, you walk into, a, a guy walks into a room and he's not bullish on crypto at a, at a, at a big, you know, Ivy League college. Like what gives? <laughs> well, I mean, I, it, it's one thing to have a view on, on, on being bullish on prices. It's another to sort of question a lot of uh, the underlyings. And I think that's, that's one of the things that, that concerns me about the space is just what are the economic drivers that will will fund this massive infrastructure that, that uh, Silicon Valley and now Wall Street are building around it. Um, you know, when you look at, at some of the economics behind it, it, it other than, than price going up and to the right on the various coins, it's hard to see uh, where where the long term economics are? Uh, Bitcoin mining has returns now, but those will diminish with time, and it's very capital intensive. And then all the various wacky lending programs where you you lend out your uh, Bitcoin on an exchange and and uh, into a stable coin, and and then you know someone pays you quote unquote eight uh, percent or ten percent or twelve percent. Um, you know, I, I just keep asking, what's the economic engine behind that? And, and I, I can't get good answers. And that's that's what's concerning because that's what raises the issues of, of a Ponzi scheme where you're just being paid off by the proceeds of other people lending. Um, and then of course we can get into NFTs, which is kind of the the, the, the fraud playground of, uh, of crypto. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, Make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.